What's going on guys, Orzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback player SBC card to review and it is going to be Verratti, a player a lot of people enjoyed this year when it came down to his rule breakers card and his flashback card is looking amazing. He has got 87 pace with 95 dribbling, 84 shooting, 90 defending, 94 passing with 87 physicals. He's a 5 foot 5 player, so that reach is going to be interesting to work with. He has got medium high work rates with four star skill moves and a four star weak foot. Now the chem style, Shadow. I feel like if you're wanting to use this card as like a box to box, Shadow is going to be the way to go. I know some people will look towards the anger chem style. The reason I feel like the anger chem style is not going to be the way to go is because he's a five foot five player. So for me it doesn't really matter how much strength you give this card like you could give this card like 95 or 90 strength let's say and he will still miss out on a lot of 50 50s because of his height so for me personally i would rather just have that stupid amount of pace in that midfield now if you are not thinking of using this card as a box to box and you think of using him as like a, an attacking center mid the Hawk Chem style. The reason I say the Hawk Chem style is because you're still getting a nice increase to the pace, but the shooting is going up a crazy, crazy amount. Like the shot power is going to be up there. The long shot is going to be up there. So yeah, as an attacking center mid, Hawk, as a box to box, I recommend the Shadow. The pace with the Shadow Chem style, 98 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, sp simply insane. Like that pace in the midfield is going to be beautiful. The shooting stats they're looking okay. You know, they're not looking like anything amazing. Those shooting stats are not really blowing me away. He has got a shooting trait. He has got the outside Fisher trait, which is nice. But as I said to you guys, the shooting stats are looking pretty good. Nothing special. The passing ability though, now that's something I'm liking the looks of. 97 vision, 97 short passing, 97 long passing. Oh yeah, those over top through balls are going to be perfect. The dribbling ability, he has got a unique body type. He's five foot five with those dribbling stats. I mean, I'm expecting him to feel amazing. Straight up amazing in game. His defending stats look incredible. Like 99 interceptions is insane. 96 defensive awareness, as defensive awareness, sorry, with a high defensive work rate as well. He's got 99 standing tackling and 99 slide tackling. The only thing I'm worried about is that reach. Him being a five foot five player. I feel like his reach ain't going to be anything amazing, but you never know, right? Like with a player like N'Golo Kante, he's five foot six, but his reach feels way, way more in game. So that could be the case with Verratti. He's got 75 jumping, 95 stamina, 81 strength, and 95 aggression when it comes down to the physicals as well. Now the links, PSG. That's all we need to say, right? That is all we need to say. He's Italian as well, so you can link him up with like Chiesa, Chiellini, uh, Damian, you can link him up with like Di Lorenzo. So yeah, the links are definitely, definitely up there. Positions, two positions, the sentiment position and a CDM position. So let's get into these games and let's see how good Verratti is going to be. Let's go for a ball roll. I see Verratti's making some movement going forward. Let's see how he's going to feel on the ball. I'm expecting him to feel amazing on the ball. And he's left stick dribbling. Oh yeah, referee, please. I was about to say. His left stick dribbling is feeling really solid as expected. I'm going to second man press this. So if he does go for a cutback, Verratti is there and he does put in a very good tackle. Pass it back to him in the middle. Accelerate into the space. That's good acceleration. Just keep it going. Should I keep... Oh my God. You see what I mean about the dribbling ability? Like those touches he took right there kind of surprised me. I was not expecting him to do that. Let's go for a through ball there. There you go, Gomez. That's a nice pass. Keep it going. Go for a ball roll just to get away from that player. I'm going to go for this. It's a good pass. It's a very good pass. I was kind of hoping Ronaldo was going to be a bit more aggressive there. So the pass went, you know, closer to the goal. But it doesn't matter. Play that Fabinho. Well played. Good pass. Deli Ali, go on. Continue making that run. That's a good through ball. Is it a good touch? It is a good touch. This needs to go in. Green timed and it's going to go right into the corner. Perfect pass from Verratti. I might just rush at him. It's Darwin Nunes and he's going to try to pull out some crazy skill moves. Is that foul? It is. That's a reverse elastico and Verratti's tackling animation right there wasn't what I wanted to see. Like he went well into the into the first tackle. It's just the second one. The animation there was mm, a little bit off. There's no one to pass to. I'm forced to go back. I see Verratti though on the edge of the box. Let's go for it. Go on. Mm. I did try to time it. See if he, you know, see if he was going to help the long shot a little bit. But I mistimed it and yeah, it's going to go nowhere near the goal. He has to pass up surely, right? Yeah. Is he going to pass that ball there? There you go. We actually got that one. He takes that touch nicely as well. 
Can I accelerate into the space? I can. I'm looking for a pass in the middle. There you go. Deli Alley. No. And then Deli Alley just runs past it. He's going to driven that straight through the middle, right? Yeah, I can't reach it as well. Like, we read that so early. I reckon, I was about to say, I reckon he gives it back to Akin Fenwa. No pass in the middle. I'm trying to cover that. Couldn't cover that in time. His transition speed, I'm telling you guys, like, it is really nice. It feels smooth going forward. It's so fast as well. Like, you guys can clearly see. Look how quick I'm just covering these gaps. Can I get that there? Go on, Verratti. Fight for it. There you go. Decent strength as well. But he does eventually get the ball i'm just gonna play it simple before we end up losing a ball in a stupid area i'm just gonna keep it going i got plenty of space to run into we'll roll that nice turn let's go for it green timed i want to try to get a long shot with him wait he, hold on hold on no i green timed that one as well it just it's not going on target right now i'm gonna push out slightly here i couldn't get that i couldn't get that one either Second man pressed this, so if he does go for a cutback, Verratti is right there, but we couldn't even get that one. There's like certain interceptions and tackles because he is a five foot five player. He is going to miss out on. Is he going to go for that pass? He is. Cancelo win that header. Well played. Verratti accelerate past him. Go on. Keep it going. Keep it going. That pace in the midfield is so nice to have because you can do that with him. You don't have to keep it simple in the midfield. You can go forward, you can dribble with him, and you can run through certain spaces like that. Nice turn. Good roulette as well. Go on, Vratti. Green time, please. No. And then I missed. Oh, come on. He's long shots. I wish that was a thing that he had like a little bit better because I feel like we could have scored two long shots at least already. Accelerate past him. There you go. Well played, Vratti. Just keep it simple. I'm waiting for my winger to make a run so I can go for one of these wonder passes and look at that four pass. Favor Brona that or not? Go on, reverse elastic around him. Nah, he does put in a very good tackle. Wait, that was Vinny defending? No pass through the middle there. Just going to transition. Transition covering that pass to Mbappe as well. You might go for a through ball and the tackle is not good enough. Like the transition speed from him there. Perfect. I'm, I'm covering so many passes. It's just the tackle. It's not good enough, is it? It really, like, he needs to go in stronger. He needs to go in a bit more aggressive. He's going to try to play that into the middle. He sticks out his leg while he couldn't reach it. And Hakimi is going to come out of that ball. That's what I mean about his interceptions. Like, he sometimes does that animation. And it's so annoying to see because as soon as he does that animation, it means he is not getting there. Play that ball. There you go. This is far. But well, why not give it a go? We've hit crossbar twice now. I'm going to I'm gonna try to use him as like an attacking centimid. I'm going to go ahead and stick him on like a, a Hawk chem style after this game. Because I want to I wanna see how much better the long shots actually are. Is he going to continue running? He is. He's trying to take us one-on-one. -on -one. Verratti, hold strong. There you go. There's our chance to put in a tackle. A second chance. There you go. We eventually come out with a ball. He's going to try to go for a turn, isn't he? Verratti, get that ball. There you go continue getting it go on keep it going there you go there's that aggression coming into play the free ball in the middle there we've got it go on keep it going there you go nice touches as well son continue making that run because we can go for one of these passes and just like that we have ourselves a decent opportunity pass into the middle deli alley extra pass into son son's run there was incredible i get that extra pass it's a goal He's going to go for a through ball. We're going to push there. He does well to get in front of Mateus. And look at the strength. And keep in mind, he's on a shadow chem style. So that is, that's his default strength. And he's doing that to Mateus. Go for a ball roll. I like I'm going to go for a finesse shot. I'm going to go through the space. Why not? Back stick. Go on, Fabinho. No. It was a good cross. And you see what I mean about him going forward with that acceleration through the gaps? That's something I'm enjoying from him. Verratti, edge of the box. Go on. Green timed, please. Third time. Third time now, we have hit the crossbar. How far is this free kick? It does look quite close. 27 yards out. Not too close. Verratti, what are we saying? 79 free kick accuracy, 94 shot power. I could go for a tactic here, but I feel like he's going to read it. So he's moved the keeper though. You see him moving the keeper? He, did he move him too far over? I'm going to go for this. Come on, Verratti, please. Yellow timed. He had a bit of curve. It looked, it looked like he knuckleballed it. But yeah, the keeper just easily saves it. Take a touch there. Go for a through ball. Can he get onto it? He can, but Deli Ali is going to use that strength to just easily, easily hold off Verratti. But do you see how quick he tried to get back into the action there? That's something I am definitely noticing. Like his high defensive work rate 
makes him get in the action really quickly and it allows him to use that defensive awareness as well so he can track runs and like cut passing lanes. Extra pass in the middle. Surely he tries to go for a turn. I'm just going to second man press this. Verratti. Can we come out with a ball? We can. Nice dribbling. Let's switch the play. That is not to the player I aimed it to, but it still got there. Let's go for a simple scoop turn. Verratti is kind of sitting back a little bit. He doesn't like to go too far forward. Like he gives me the passing option, but he definitely uh, doesn't like to be a player that gets inside my opponent's box. I'm trying to see if I can maybe create myself an angle to go for a finesse shot, but it's just not working. You see what I mean though about his positioning? Like you notice how he's always trying to go back into that back into that sentiment position. He's not wanting to go forward at all. I'm going to push towards him here. No cut back there. There you go. And we couldn't get the ball there either. Possession-based tackles is something he does not do very often. I feel like the ball is always bouncing off him. He's made a run there. Go on, Verratti. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I did not expect him to make that run. Like, oh, he's gone. Oh, what's happening here? What? Really? Really? What a finish though. He is on the Hawk Chem style, so I guess that finish is understandable. So it is time to get my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing four games of Verratti and we scored one goal in those four games. And we also came out with a single assist as well. Now, the first thing I do want to talk about is the dribbling ability. The dribbling ability on this card is simply insane to work with. It, the left stick dribbling is so good. The skill moves as well, like the roulette and the burber spin, they came off so quick, so so quick so yeah the dribbling ability loved it passing ability crazy good those over top through balls were literally perfect with both feet i don't think he screwed up one pass as far as i remember all like the drill and passes into the strikers all the over top through balls they were just spot on so yeah the passing insane shooting ability hmm the shooting was interesting without the hawk chem style like i ended up hitting crossbar i think it was three times of on long shots i could not believe how unlucky we was getting not to get it on target like i don't understand how we hit crossbar three times it was just really annoying to see now as soon as i applied the hawk hem style you could definitely tell the long shots they were better 100 percent, you can tell they were better and the power shot right at the end as well i don't think that goes in without a hawk hem style i'll be honest i think that probably ends up in the in the stands i don't think that goes in at all so yeah the hawk chem style you can definitely tell is helping out that shooting ability but just to let you guys know the shooting ability without the hawk chem style mm, it's not good it is not good at all but with the hawk much better pace insane straight up insane the transition speed on this card is beautiful how fast he gets out to players as well is just a simple joke see so yeah, the pace insane defending ability hmm now this is where yeah, this is where it kind of goes a little bit downhill, let's say. Because the standing tackles that he was doing, there wasn't like a lot of possession based. It was bouncing back to my opponent near enough every time. And it was really annoying to see. And the interceptions as well. It's like it's like the same thing with Lamar that I did the review on the other day. Uh, you have to be, I say other day, it was yesterday. It was, you have to be like right in the lane, right in that passing lane. If you're not, he sticks out his leg doesn't get it he tries to like reach a little bit doesn't get it you are, i'm telling you guys you have to be right in the lane to intercept it if you're not the ball is going past him and that is something that is really annoying to see his defensive awareness though with that high with that high uh defensive work rate was really really solid i saw him tracking runs i saw him uh cutting passing lanes so that is something i did enjoy from his defensive ability let's say but yeah the interceptions and the standing tackling was something that I was definitely getting a little bit annoyed about. The physicals. You know what? His strength wasn't actually too bad. I'll be honest to you guys. Like, he wasn't a player that went up to someone and pushed him out of the way. You're not going to get that from Ferrati. But shielding someone off, it wasn't bad. It was He was doing it pretty well against someone like uh, someone like Moment Mateus, which I was kind of surprised about. So yeah, the strength was decent. The aggression, you can, definitely, you can definitely tell it is up there. The stamina, he obviously lost for the whole 90 minutes. And the jumping ability... Yeah, he doesn't win a header. Let's just put it that way. Now, the price, 250k. 250k isn't bad. Like, if you think about it, he offers you 
a good amount on that pitch and the links on this card are insane. Like what you could do is you can link him up with like Chiellini. You can link him up with uh, maybe Di Lorenzo or Damian on that right hand side. But you can also get a link to Messi in that right wing position. So yeah, the links are super nice to work with. He's obviously a good player as well. So 250k, I think that is reasonable pricing. Now, where does he go in the midfielders tier list? As a box to box center mid, A tier as a box to box because defensively he is just not it but as an attacking center mid with the hawk chem style applied a plus he is so much better as an attacking center mid than he is as a box to box center mid i would not play this card in a 442 in the center in the center mid position no shot i would i would play this card though in a 4122 narrow in the left center mid position on a hawk chem style he, I feel like this variety card needs to be in a free midfield formation. He cannot be in two because if you have him in two, yeah, he just uh, doesn't have that extra support that he needs on defense. And he, as I said to you guys, the interceptions on this card, you have to be right in the lane. It, otherwise, it's going straight past you. So yeah, it is definitely annoying to see. But yeah, as I told you guys, A plus as an attacking center mid, as a box to box center mid, A tier. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.